guys today I'm gonna show you how to use MSI Afterburner to record in-game footage and uh, to record your desktop as well the way I'm doing it right now uh, so you're gonna need to download MSI Afterburner obviously uh, all the links uh, to the downloads that you're gonna need I'm gonna put it on YouTube so you're gonna need MSI Afterburner I used the beta version but you can download the normal one but the beta version works well for me so it should work well for you too and you can need, need to download the X264 video encoder uh, and uh, A3 filter as well. So once you download uh, these programs like these two are pretty straightforward. Just need to install them. And MSI Afterburner you install, and then you once you run it, you're gonna have like this window. Uh, this you don't need to change. This is um, an overclocking tool from MSI, uh, but they have this really nice feature in the settings to record the des desktop and uh, video uh, capture. So don't change any of these options here. This is uh, just for the overclocking. You don't need to change anything here. I'll just go to video capture. Uh, first thing to do is set up a hotkey. Uh, so you want to, when you want to start video capturing, this will be the key or a combination of keys that you'll press to record. Uh, video format is the uh, codec. I'm gonna go um, through this later. Let's just leave like this for now. Container format is gonna be AVI all the time. Uh, quality, you really won't need to change this because it's gonna be changed in the codec options. Uh, frame size, I use frame size full, uh, full frame. This is um, the frame of your desktop. Uh, mine is 1080p. You, you might want to change this uh, to half frame or uh, 720p uh, if you're struggling to record. Um, I won't put. I won't do anything below 720p. <coughs> Excuse me, because you're going to lose quality. It's not going to look very good, but 720p it looks pretty decent, but I prefer 1080p because it gives a bit of uh, smoothness. Uh, so I'm not going to leave this as full frame. Um, frame rate limit, uh, frame rate it's 30 frames per second. Uh, now you can change this to 25 if you're having performance issues as well. I won't change anything below this uh, and you can put it to 60 frames per second if you have a powerful computer and you don't want any uh, like lag while recording. Uh, but I use 30 frames per second. It it gives me a bit of lag, but MS Afterburner is pretty decent, pretty cool. You, you won't notice a lot of it. Uh, frame limit, I'll set it to disable all the time. Uh, this is in case you you don't want uh, it to go over your frame rate. Uh, videos folder where your videos where you want your videos to go pretty straightforward video ca capture capability properties I just leave this like this I think these are the default settings audio capture properties uh, wasapi capture device for the audio source one that's will be your microphone and then auto select audio source 2 will be uh, again wasapi playback uh, playback device this time and auto select this will be game sounds and your computer sounds um, down here just tick these two boxes stereo rip don't change this and that's pretty much it for this menu now I'm gonna go into more detail so you video format you're gonna select uh, the x264 codec here and then you're gonna click these three dots here and you get a compression compressor again you select that one the one that you've downloaded and you're gonna press configure and it will take you to this menu here and now you need to set up this and I think most settings are default I'm not I can't remember right now but set this to ultra fast this is quite important ultra fast none auto auto here convert uh, Y, U, V, wherever, and zero latency, uh, rate control, 
rate factor. This is to do with the quality. I set mine to 18, which is pretty decent quality. Don't think there is much point of uh, lowering this. I don't think you get, you're going to get a lot of gain in quality. But if you are having performance issues while recording, you can set this to 21. I think more than 21 is going to be a bit uh, blurry, but I'll, I'll just put, I'll put minus 18, which is, works pretty good for me. I think you can set up this to uh, from ultra fast to like slower speeds if you're having trouble uh, performance troubles as well. Again, if your computer is a bit old and your processor is not coping well, you can uh, change these settings here. You can do some of your own research on Google. There's uh, some stuff talking about this. And all, another thing that's very important is the output mode here. Make sure it's VFW and X264 with um, the, the small X. Uh, leave this unticked and I think everyone, everything else is um, default. I set this extra command line. I can't remember why I put this here. I think it might have already been there or it was something I read on Google that maybe increases performance. But anyway, that's the settings here. So I'm just going to cancel this because I'm going to leave mine as they are. Another thing is that after MSI Afterburner uses this little program here. You're going to see this monitor with uh, some frames there, which is River Tuner Statistics. This is the program that actually I think it captures your. Uh, uh, desktop in your games. So it comes initially, I don't, can't remember the default settings, but global is for everything. It's actually for your desktop and it's setting set to medium. <coughs> this might be my own settings. I can't remember very well. Just if you put it like this, it will work as it's working for me. It should work for you. Uh, one thing it's important, these are all default programs, most of the programs here, I mean, they're all like default, they come with this program, and they should all be turned off. If you don't recognize any, if you're not using it, they should be all turned off, except the ones that you're going to add by yourself, and I'm going to show you that. So if you press this button here, you can add your uh, own programs from your... Uh, program files and whatever programs you want to add. So if you uh, say you added an ex executable file, for example, I got Arma 2 here, Arma 3 here, so they're all the ex executable files. I got Crisis as well here. Uh, so for example, what I've set it to is you set the application uh, for your custom apps, you set your application detector level to high. Uh, don't mess with the stealth mode, I don't think you need that. Uh, I've set custom direct 3D support to on. Don't set a frame limit. Uh, on, sc on screen display support on, which is going to be some like an information here on one corner of your screen. You see it here telling you that's recording or not and uh, I set it this to vector 3D viewports uh, shadow off display palette you can customize the color that you want it to be uh, zoom you can you see increase it or decrease it I'll just leave mine as it is and the statistics I turn it on so you know that when it's recording or not um, so unfortunately you can't set it to record um, different clips, it's a single clip so you make sure you don't forget to turn it, to, to turn it off otherwise it's going to record your, um, your gameplay forever and it's going to just take the whole space of your hard drive. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Any questions, you know, just drop me a line on the YouTube comments or on our website, nagwag.com. Have a good day and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.